www.ftpc.com. I'll be showing you how to connect uh, via the uh, user interface of a Huawei E589 pocket Wi-Fi. So I'll show you how you can access its uh, settings via the website so we can uh, uh, check its settings and uh, try to play around with it. Okay. So first, um, what you need to do is um, you have to open your browser. So mine is um, using uh, Safari and uh, its default uh, IP is 192.168.1.1. So if you go to that uh, URL, it would, and if you're already connected to the Huawei E589, you'll be able to open its uh, uh, web uh, user interface. So here, I'm already uh, connected. You have different tabs like Home, Statistics, SMS, Updates, and Settings. For the Home, it would show you the signal strength. Uh, it's, a, it's saying here 4G because uh, I'm connected to an LTE network. I'm using uh, Smart as uh, the provider. I'm using uh, a prepaid uh, LTE by Smart. It's uh, unlimited for uh, 30 days for only 995 pesos. Yep. So down below, um, it's, it would show you the uh, uh, received data and uh, the durations for how long you're already connected. And uh, if the wireless uh, WLAN uh, status, if it's on, and uh, its current uh, Wi-Fi user. So it's saying here, one out of 10. Because this uh, Huawei E589 can connect up to 10 uh, devices, maybe a laptop, a uh, smartphone, um, a desktop, or a tablet. For statistics, let's put in my password. Okay. For its statistics, it would show you the uh, download uh, data. Um, the total volume that the, that I have already uh, um, downloaded, and also uh, the upload uh, data. So currently, I've been using this for two weeks time, and I've already downloaded uh, seven two gigabyte, and have uploaded uh, ten gigabyte of data. So in total, download and upload, it's uh, eight to three gigabyte. And for the duration, it's uh, 268 hours. So here are the Wi-Fi clients. It's currently, it's currently connected to the Huawei E589. It's showing uh, my IP address, its MAC, and its uh, duration. For MSS tab, so you'll be able to send the um, SMS message um, using this uh, Huawei E589. Yeah. And uh, for the updates, If you'd like to update its uh, firmware, so you'll be using the update stack. So currently, my system uh, is up to date. And for the settings, so for the settings, uh, this is where you normally um, uh, change its settings for it to, to connect to your network. Um, what I normally, uh, what I have changed here so far is um, on under dial-up. And uh, mobile connection. The connection mode I've set it to auto, so it would uh, automatically connect as soon as I power on the device. For its uh, profile management, I've used uh, since I'm using uh, Smart Smart as uh, my provider. I've changed the uh, profile name to Smart Pro, and its uh, APN is um, this this version that I have which I got from uh, Hot Gadgets. Um, when I set the uh, profile to Smart Pro, it would automatically put in uh, the APN as uh, Smart Pro. And for its uh, network settings, I've changed the preferred mode to 4G only. So this is very uh, important if you'd like to have a preferred mode. 
because uh, if it's set to auto, um, it would uh, change uh, alternatively from uh, 3G to 4G, whichever is uh, has a higher uh, signal strength. Now, in my case, um, I wanted to uh, connect only to a 4G signal, so it would uh, have a faster connection. So, on my network settings, uh, preferred mode again is a 4G only, and the network search is auto, so it would automatically connect. For WLAN, under WLAN uh, basic settings, I've changed the uh, uh, SSID for LTE, and um, I put in a, a pre-shared key, but um, I have disabled uh, its uh, SSID broadcast so that uh, the network name will be hidden. But I can uh, switch to enable. And uh, for WLAN advanced settings, normally I've, um, I've already uh, yeah, let's change it to Philippines. Channels auto. Again, uh, this supports uh, 802.11 B, G, and N. Now, for the Mac filter, if you'd like to filter um, only a certain Mac address, you'll be able to connect to the device. You can uh, specify which uh, Mac address um, it will filter. And um, if you'd like to uh, uh, allow only certain uh, MAC address or or block certain MAC address, here's a um, part where you can uh, configure it. So there are three options under WLAN uh, MAC filter disabled if you don't want to use uh, this uh, MAC filtering option. But if you uh, put in allow, you can specify up to eight uh, MAC address that would be able to, uh, I mean 10, that would be able to uh, connect only. And uh, if you'd like to deny um, a specific uh, MAC address, um, you can specify 10 again. Okay. For WPS uh, setting, If you'd like to um, use a PIN code to verify the uh, WPS uh, access credentials, you have to enter your uh, PIN code here. For um, DHCP, uh, here. So by default, um, I've enabled the DHCP. So here's the IP address of the device it's, and its uh, subnet mask. I can uh, specify um, the start uh, and end uh, IP address. So for this device, I've set it to provide um, starting IP address of 192.168.1.100 up to 200. And uh, its least time is uh, 86,400 uh, uh, seconds. For security, um, here you can uh, change the pin management, firewall switch, LAN IP filter, and so on. For the system, uh, here's uh, where you can uh, back up and restore. Uh, to its uh, resume, uh, backup and restore the um, configuration uh, parameters. And uh, you can modify the password of the device. Okay, I've already uh, changed it. And here you can uh, resolve to uh, default settings, or if you want to restore its uh, factory uh, configuration. And uh, for its, if you'd like to reboot the device, uh, here. You just have to uh, click uh, apply every uh, change that you have made. So again, uh, this is Map or Tech on Site of WPC.com. If you got this um, video handy, uh, um, click the uh, thumbs up. Thank you and uh, see you in my next uh, video.